to start this actually the wrong one I was going for. That's what I meant to go for. I'll lay my fantastic bit for people. Push that button there. And that is already alerted people. Yes, one of the very few times on my Discord actually lets people. <coughs> I love it. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing fantastic. Hope you're all doing amazing, my peeps. <coughs> ah, dry foot. I'm doing absolutely fantastic, Neil. Let me stretch my back out, though. Oh, scum! Did I do that today? Yeah, I did my medicine today. My hay fever. Well, I did my tablets. Then I'll do my nostril stuff for my hay fever, so. I'll do it now. There we go. Hay fever season. We need to get a new one in here soon. I've had this for about two weeks now. <laughs> and I think it's only got a quarter left in it. Also, the music I think is a bit too loud there. So I'm going to turn it down slightly. But yeah, I'm doing absolutely amazing with it myself. And you know, I've had a very chillish day. Mm -hmm. Semi busy. And I forgot to do a few things. Like I was going to change my bed and I forgot to do that. So I'm going to do that. <gasps> hey, Nine, what's up? It's been a while. What's the news? Well, I'm sure, sure you've heard the news lately about Doc 2 stuff. As a fellow Whovian. <laughs> so you know, how you doing, Nine? Are you hyped to all this Doctor Who stuff's been coming out as a fellow Whovian? As a fellow fan of the Doctor Who fandom. <laughs> we have David back and for the anniversary and the new Doctor announcement. <laughs> That's the news I'm most excited for. <laughs> Coming to see what happens with all our stuff now. With Doctor Who things. No mirror to out of all the pain. Sorry for all the pain. But yes, I'm doing well and I'm super hyped for all that stuff. Right now, myself personally. For all that awesome Doctor Who news, they stretch out. out. <laughs> no, no mirror to say. Sorry for all the pain. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, it has been, it had been a bit lot, and all the new Doctor stuff is crazy, and I'm super excited for it. Yeah, no, I, me too, it looks absolutely amazing, you go, well, still coming back, I said, right, don't know. The film on the 60th anniversary at the moment with David, obviously we've seen David, Donna, Penny, Wolf, this, well, you know, Catherine, playing Donna again, which I'm interested to see what happens with that character. And we got... I still don't know how to pronounce the guy's name, who's 14th Doctor. I just call him the sex education guy. You daddy pig. I don't know how you say his name properly. I still need to learn how to say his name. Because, like, you know, it's, um... It's, it's like a non-English name. It's not, like, an, a, especially with me with dyslexia. But I'm just intrigued to see what happens with it all. I'm very excited with the future Doctor myself as well. Especially as someone who kind of dipped off a little bit. And in enjoyment, like I still watch it, but like I don't like it as much because of Chris's writing. So I'm actually excited to see Russell come back because you know it's pronounced Nekichi, Nekichi. Did I say it right? Nekichi. That's how my I'm seeing it. I know. I think his second name's Gawa. At least that's how I think I've been reading it properly. <laughs> Either way, I'm super excited to see him because I love him. Well, I love him sex education. For sure. So I'm interested to see him play a doctor for sure. I definitely think he could be a fun, jumpy, energetic doctor. Definitely could give off a Matt Smith sort of vibe, I think. That's the kind of vibe I think he, they could give off as a doctor. And Jody. Jody and Matt, I say, are very similar doctor types. In terms of the energetic, jumpy ADHD ones. Which is why I cosplay 11. So, yeah. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's like. Netruti. Oh, Netruti. I think I pronounced it even better that time. Because you spaced out a little bit. Yeah, I, it is like... Obviously, it's not, it's not a common name and stuff like that, so... Not the easiest thing to try and say. <laughs> but either way, I'm excited to see him in the role as a doctor and see what Russell does with him. <laughs> Very excited to the future Doctor, and this, you know, obviously we're gonna see David back. I kind of hope, I kind of hope we see maybe 
some additional doctors come back as well for the 50th, no, 50th, 60th anniversary. No, oh, maybe Matt and Capaldi as well. Hell, if we're very lucky, Christopher will come back this time around as well. Because I love Christopher as a doctor. I mean, it says in your name, Nine Deserved Better. I literally, you know, I love Christopher. My Christopher will always be my first doctor. <laughs> Probably for 60th day or more announcements to come. I bet they are, yeah. I bet there going to be a lot of announcements coming in the next coming few months now. But it's going to be a lot to, like, announce. Pretty close. It's a... One doll, your name, so it took me a minute as well. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, obviously, it's it's a very non-English, normal, like, it's not something, like, it, I have very f dyslexia, so. But even struggle with normal English words, never mind. Um, different, like, types of names and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to get try and get used to saying his name. <laughs> Give it time, I know I will. Just give it a bit of time, I'll be able to say it. <laughs> Christopher won't come back, he fell out with Russell Tools Davis. Yeah, to be fair. I love Christopher, but I know he won't come back. He's been very clear, he doesn't want to go back and I respect that. Yeah, I know it's, yeah. So I would I would have loved to see Christopher, but I, just, I don't think it's ever happening. Unless, by some miracle, something does happen. <coughs> Probably. Definitely think I can get Matt and Capaldi, though. And I know for a 6th anniversary, I don't know if it's... I think the 6th anniversary is going to take place after the regeneration, right? So when Jody's already regenerated, so Jody could still be in there, obviously. But I think we, it's going to be a new Doctor Focused episode. Because, yeah, it's August. It's August, not autumn. Autumn this year is going to be Jody's last episode, apparently. It's going to be when regeneration happens. I believe that's what is meant to be. <laughs> Hoping to bring back a late era classic like Colin Baker or Sylvester McCoy. They could. Sylvester McCoy, yes. Colin Baker, I don't... F Colin Baker would have to be a CGI work jobby. But Sylvester McCoy, Paul McGann, Peter Davison are some of the few who I think can still play the Doctor. Colin Baker looks way different now than he did years ago. So that would have to be like some kind of CG jobby or something like that. Bring back all the doctors if it would be my idea, yeah. We could definitely, we could do, they could bring back, um, I forgot the name of the actor, uh, Bad, Badly, who plays the first doctor and also played William Hartnold in the Adventure Time and Space thing. They could bring back the first doctor like that. Um, they did, I we might get another Tom Baker cameo, because Tom Baker has a sort of cameo in the 50th anniversary before as well as the creator. There's a lot they can do. I'm intrigued to see what they do with it. To celebrate the anniversary and stuff like that. I don't think it matters if he looks older, I, I'd just be thrilled to see him. They could, what they could do with Colin Baker is, do, is what they did with Tom Baker. They would, it wouldn't be a doctor, but it would be another character. Because that's what Tom Baker was in the 50th anniversary. He wasn't the the doctor, but he was the creator. So he was a version of a, a character. So they could do that. Hey, no problem. Thank you for the shout Shadow Wolf. But that's something they could do. They could bring back... They could bring back through the other classic doctors. Paul McGann obviously can't still play the doctors. Because Paul McGann and I, Sylvester McCoy. Peter Davison, a lot of them still look like the doctors. Just they obviously they're a little bit older. Colin Baker does not. Because Colin Baker... You know, it's bald now and stuff like that, and doesn't have the hair, and his hair's all grey and stuff like that. So he doesn't look the same. But uh, same with Tom Baker. So they could, with Colin, they could do, just give him another role as a different character within the, within the episode. If they wanted to bring back a classic Doctor, but obviously, give him a different role. So it would be a little nod to the fans then, but like, hey, it's Colin Baker. <laughs> but you know, he's playing a different character. Like the curator, and uh, Tom Baker was. Uh, that character in the 50th. <laughs> no, we'll have to wait and see what they do, what they, you know, put together and stuff like that. I'm excited to see what goes on. <laughs> see what they do with it. Also, Colin Baker has been doing a lot of audio dramas for Dr. Lady, so... Yeah, yeah, like I said, I think they can if, like I said, I think for Colin Baker, they would, have, they would have to give him, like, I would say, like, a different role for a character, like Tom Baker as a different role in the 50th. So I think they could do something like that, so you could get some of the older Doctors in. 
by giving him obviously you know a different character role for like a little cameo thing or something like that. A little hint, like one way or another, I'm just excited for the fullbacks. Yeah, exactly. One way or another, I'm hyped to see all that shit as well. See what they do with it. See what like happens, stuff like that. Switch my back up. I'm super excited to see all this stuff though, Kevin. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of happy to see Chris go. I kind of wish we. I kind of wish Jody had more for the Russell or different right, the right for her, because her character was not done justice with Chris's writing. <laughs> to be with Colin Baker's here, they could get him a wig. Yeah, <laughs> they could. I. I think. I would think if they wanted to do a Colin Baker story, they would have to do a CGI jobby thing, or something like that. I just. I just say, kind of looked like a wig anyway. Fair. We have to wait and see what they do. <laughs> like, there's a lot they could do with it. I mean, I'm like, I'm just hyped for all the stuff we got coming so far, and I can't wait to see any more that happens. Thing is, I actually I did a Doctor Who podcast a few weeks ago, and I think that podcast is now outdated. By the fact all this news is now come out because that podcast I did with um, someone, Doctor Who fan, my brain's on the blank now on this TikTok name and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> that's released in August, the podcast I did, even though I did a few weeks ago. We were talking about like anniversary stuff like that, so yeah. Yeah, no, like I said, Jodie, Jodie was a brilliant doctor. She just did not have good stories. That's the only problem. Chris was not a good writer, personally, in my eyes. And the two doctors, the actors were much older, and they kind of pretended like nothing had changed. Didn't even try to die. Patrick, Trotton and say a lot. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, because he, he just had, like, great hair at the time, didn't he? Yeah, it was Chris's writing. I, there were like two episodes of Jodie's I did really like actually. I did like the Dalek New Year episode. And I really liked... It was an episode in the Flax one. It was the Weeping Angels one. I liked that one. All the other episodes were very much misses for me personally. Yeah, Doctor's dropped so much in the past week. It's crazy. Yeah. It is quite crazy though. I do agree. But I'm super hyped to see what happens and what to do. And stuff, Assassin's Creed Unity launch game. And tablet. I'm super excited to see what they do. Like, I'm so hyped for Doctor Who stuff. Again. Like, I was, when when I first watched, when Jordy was first revealed, I was hyped. And then Doctor continued on and on and on. And then I wasn't hyped for that anymore. Like, recently, the past year alone. I was like, okay, cool, new Doctor thing. But now it's the, I'm getting a hype back again, because I know, well, we know Russell, he's a very good writer, and we got David and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the future of Doctor, I think it's getting back on track. So I'm very excited to see what happens and what they do and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Personally. Yes, this game saves data. That's good unity. Per se. It's gonna just launch us off the bat in there. Yeah. The past is not lost. The past lives inside us. We'll subtitle so I can't talk. In the double helix from a nip. Are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research. Our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix, where the past is
is your playground. Mm hmm. Survive to go down, I think. Yeah, I really want to see Matt Smith and Cabaldi come back for sure. Thing is, I never. Can he actually play in these episodes? That's one thing I never understood completely. Obviously, we can play this one. But the rest episodes, like. When he's actually playable. Liberation of Lady Avi, Devils of Caribbean, Hell. This Altia corner. Dunno, dunno. Dunno. Oh well. <laughs> Play. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques. Oh well. Thing is, how do we ever access the helix? I never actually looked into Unity stuff too much. Because I know, I know if that is played, but I'm not. Oh, what no. I'm, that's why I'm treated because, like, Russell T. Davis has to deal with that, doesn't he? With the whole timeless child thing. Again, this is why I don't like Chris as a writer. He, he, he just done too much with Doctor Who that I did not like. Who goes there? A friend of the temple. Floalrak. The council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. Also, you have to be quiet, because there's no subtitles. Probably not gonna let me put subtitles on until in a minute. Can we check now? No. Okay. Can't ask this manual. Try us, old man. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. Which is star swords? Okay. Um, options. Game options. Sound. So game options, no, would it be sound options for subtitles on English language, music volume that is always going to be part of six, game options, uh, graphics, I want graphic options, resolution 1080p, refresh rate, good at 144hz, full screen, brightness, part six, ultra high, why not, yeah. I think that's everything. Yeah, I'll leave that. There you go. Okay. That's actually. I'm barely running now. Okay. So, ultra high. Okay, so I think we found the first game in the franchise I can't run under high settings because that seems a bit laggy. So, I put on very high. Seems to run well on high. I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Massa. Yeah, that seems to run fine. But yeah, I'm intrigued to see what Russell T. Davis does as well. With everything. We will not prevail this night. If we make haste, we may yet save our order. Okay, fame's are dropping on stream. Oh. It looks fine to me, but it's dropping to for you guys. I'll switch settings again. So is is the fact on stream is dipping below sixty, okay. Let's put it with 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 refresh down to one twenty hertz, and put it down to high. Okay, that's not stable for me and for you guys. There we go. Okay, cool. Found seconds to work. Cool. Hold the bridge, hold! Now, I have to take a different way. 
I. Let me do. I trust. Yeah, I trust Russell T. Davis. And Russell T. Davis, I trust. I mean, he's the reason why Doctor started back up successful. So they tried to start Doctor back up with the movie with the Eighth Doctor, but that fell flat. But then they started up, up again in 2005, and you know it's been running on ever since. Okay, can you just? So one thing I don't know was like about these Sasuke games is like, it's like, come on, you can climb up our surface. There we go. That's what we needed. <laughs> yes, and Russell T. Davis, we trust. Stop him. That should be a hashtag now. Hashtag in RTD we trust. <laughs> Cause come on. Hey daddy. Hello savage my boy. <laughs> savage. Free one up. Wait what's the T Davis? Definitely thinks gonna do. I mean I don't think you know. Doctor's gonna be back on track. It's gonna be brilliant again. It's gonna be exactly what we need. Going to be exactly what we need in life. Come on, Ange, stop me. To dodge, don't I? Ah, how are you doing today, Savage? My boy, my broski, my home dog. If you run up, no, I don't need to. Also, what's your opinion on your card? The Bennett Six, yes, the same was. I actually found that one out just today, this morning, and um, I don't know. I mean, it's pot. I mean, it's like you know, Rose is a common name. <laughs> so I'm intrigued to see what they do with it. Would the doctor react? Be like, oh, Rose, I know someone else called Rose a few generations ago or something like that. An old friend called Rose. I don't know. A sword of Eden, then. <laughs> That's the first time I hear my PC actually work. It's, it is working, it's keeping them graphics going and stream going. <laughs> yeah, I think when we reach Origins, I'm gonna plug my laptop in so my pieces have to both stream and play the game. So I put my game and laptop in. Pardon me, have you heard the theory that people think she could be Donna's daughter? That could work. I'm not here, then. No. Like I said, I only found out about the Rose news today, myself, on TikTok. Cause my my whole TikTok page at the moment is full of multiverse of madness and Doctor Who stuff. <laughs> Pretty much my TikTok's always full of Marvel stuff and Doctor Who stuff. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty much how I get my news is from TikTok. Or Facebook sometimes. But, I mean, if that's true, interesting. Uh, could be a thing. Oh, yeah, a lot. Yeah, same. Because I've seen, I've just seen a lot of Doctor stuff and Marvel stuff. It was, it was pretty good. I was kind of expecting more from it, all personally. I'm not going to get too much into it. But, like, I would have liked oh, to see it. more. Hear me? It's definitely, I would say, it was a mid-film. Multiverse of Madness. I just expected a lot more. I've, I expected more madness of multiversals in there. Still enjoyable, though. <laughs> just would have loved to see more, personally. Shall be cursed. Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath. 
Thus came the age. Actually, my PC fans going off. Blistering clothes, the Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Yo, Bishop, okay. I think, is the name of his character. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so yeah. I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. Mm. If that doesn't frame you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD 16, B13. Lol, Unity, yeah, the Unity. What's up, Dry? <laughs> the worst, really? I, I quite like the Unity myself. Personally, my least favorite in the franchise is Odyssey. Now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. To so never finish it. <laughs> and after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. I never mind Unity. It was just extremely buggy at launch. It, it was hated on. Like, I I got Unity. Yeah, I got Unity in the year it came out. Uh, the, but I added like a few months after. Because I added for Christmas, but the game obviously launched like before Christmas. <laughs> ah, I, I don't know. To those who watched my stream yesterday, we finished Rogue yesterday. And obviously in Rogue. Well, you know what happens to this character. <laughs> if you watched my stream yesterday, I was playing Rogue. Honor. I skipped it when I tried to syndicate, fair enough. That's because our launch was buggy as hell and it look, took them two, two years, really. See, like I said, I, I had. When I had the game, it was fine. Courage, my boy. And it was only up for a few weeks at that point. Because I had it a few weeks later after launch, because, you know, I had the Christmas of that year. It released. And it was fine. For me. I never had problems with it. I had it on the PS4. <laughs> and when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring. Hmm? Mm hmm? Yes, father. The phone keeps on going off. Yeah. <laughs> Group chats going off. <laughs> on Snapchat. And then TikTok and all these notifications keep on going. I never had a problem with Unity myself. I was like, look, I got a PS4 version. I think it's PC for maybe. This right now I'm playing the PC version. But um, I don't know. Cause I, I had it on PS4, but I didn't have a lot of launch. I had it obviously on Christmas. I had the PS. I actually came bundled with my PS4. Cause I didn't have a PS4. Until this game came out, because I never got a PS4 or an Xbox One, because I was like, I don't need these consoles yet. I'll be able to take. Hey, no problem, dry, go do the smoky smokes, dude. Take a little break. <laughs> but yeah, personally, for me, I never had an issue with this game, graphic wise. But you can't steal one. Oh no. And how about hey what's up KJ got looking looking got to go for ah fair enough last stream for clips fair enough you do that my friend appreciate the look I don't do that anymore really it's been a while since I've actually gone through a stream and just clip stuff I think is entertaining well I'm planning to do more black factor now oh, hell yeah I love Black Flag. So I did skip that one because I streamed a last year. Because that's the one I've not played so far since I've been playing all these games. I'm Arno, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. 
Yeah. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. <laughs> That's not what I'm concerned about. Because, well, she, she did a thing. One thing I will say, I could definitely see the generation change though. Because I played Black Flag and Rogue, and obviously now I'm playing Unity, I could definitely see the graphical change of generation, even though I played all of them on PC. You could tell one's from one generation and one's from another. Like, this is definitely like the generation above that last gen. It's looking at graphically like. I need to do my daily mileage on Grand Turismo 7, and I will start, uh, start up stream after it. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> daily mileage. You just do like a daily thing. Grand Turismo 7, is it like a. What's a daily task thing, is it? Come away, boy. On that game. Bum 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 bum. Arno. Look at me. <laughs> oh yeah it was like, uh, I was looking at my desk, where's the piece of gum? If I got a piece of gum in my pocket, I do. I have two pieces of gum, or two packets of gum. Can't win fairly at cards, so you stoop the thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor, I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Hey, hey, check this out. You got a roulette ticket for driving so far in a day, and you win it even the money a car for me. Fair enough. AJ, I was actually watching the stream last night. They didn't say anything. Are you playing some Super Mario, weren't you? You're Super Mario. <laughs> I just forgot to say hi because I was just lurking while I was doing my own thing. <laughs> How are you going Super Mario in the end? Did, nice you know? I watched it for a bit and I kind of did some other stuff, I think, then. <laughs> <laughs> Air uh, TMB to pass through. Aye. Wee! I'm gonna go wee! I'm gonna go wee! Pardon, <laughs> I forgot how, like, cool the park. Yep, yeah, going back old school and hope you're doing my well. I'm doing absolutely well! It's extremely sunny now. It's raining quite a bit today. The sun's gone out. It's not a bright sun now. He's not housebroken. Pass over, don't get tackled. Alright. Tackle, there we go. Thick-headed blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Uh, pardon me. Uh, no. mm. Get back mm. here. Tis the burger. I love any burgers for lunch. I cook myself. Uh-huh. Ah, yes. A wise man knows when to admit defeat, Victor. I forgot, yeah, it says Welsh Free Assassin. Wait, Welsh Free Assassin? Is that my Xbox account? No, it's my Steam account. No, my you Play account? No, it's my, Yeah, I think... Yeah, it's my Uplay account that would be, actually. I'm guessing. I actually got this game on an Xbox as well, so... So I could be streaming some Xbox, it's just like... I don't know, I just follow stream on PC. I think it's the only Assassin's Creed game I do have on console. Because I got it digitally on the Xbox One like years ago. It's like oh, Fiverr. So I thought I'd pick it up. Bad for the PS4 originally. Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. 
He robbed me. <laughs> <laughs> of what precisely? Wait for me in my library. Hey, Fast Hunter, Leonardo shows up. Only thing left in the movie, you think finger. <laughs> oh, I got love Leonardo. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. No one, monsieur. No one. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshal C. Mm. Again. Again. Okay. see, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. <laughs> well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here. Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort, won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. Sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. See, Arno. Arno is as good of a character as he has. He does have little moments, but he does seem kind of plain a lot of the time. He does have a fun bantery energy at times. But, like, I think he gets too serious when he becomes an assassin, personally. So it's like Ezio, Edwards. I don't know, I think Arno. Arno has a bit more of a corner vibe. Con is a bit plain of a character. Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It would break my heart. <laughs> Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Monsieur. He is at this part of the game. Flirtatious, yeah. <laughs> but then he gets kind of boring. He isn't as, like... I don't know. Jacob, I think, is a good car's holy food begin to end. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sir de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop the only thing I like this when he's strapped. Okay. That guy in the it's back in the neck. Yes, I heard you the first time. That guy. I'll see that he gets it. My bench on the blank. The only thing I like is when he stabbed that say? guy in the neck. Oh. They say stabbed. Bad luck, lad. You'll have to go make around. way, make way. All over. What was that? I realized there's a there's a lever system man I could have used. Oh well, I climbed the long way out. Damn it, slow down! Ye Yo Spigot in a tot. Sorry bad grammar, I just woke up. Fair enough. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's even my own dyslexia because I have bad grammar and bad reading skills at times as well. Sometimes my Who brain can Pelops? Pelops. I don't I did not understand that reference. That's the sage. On carriage. Of this world. My brain has got to wake up the English speaking side of me. Fair enough. <laughs> Cars outside go bro. It's kind of thing we need from the street. To Cars go bro. Well, yeah. Alright, climb up. Ah, Bono. Thank you. See, I feel like the parkour is downgraded in this. Well, at least the climbing. Why should someone use the animus and they play as Jesus Christ? I mean, that's one thing it can do. If, you know, Jesus Christ is a real thing. Jesus Christ was real, yes, he could probably, like, play. 
as Jesus Christ in the Animus. Actually, that's what a Sasuke game. <laughs> they should make one about is Jesus Christ. That's the great Holy Spirit. Hell yes! <laughs> I mean, do they have to be here? All these games are fiction anyway. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> That's what we need all the Sasuke game we plays Jesus Christ. There you are. Dasha Lollies. Eagle fishing, press Y, okay. Let's go, let's go, stabby. Back of the line. Back of the line. So if he bails, he just forces there, but he comes back after f oh, three games of end game time. Hell yeah. <laughs> Convenient, that. Okay. And interact. Dice comes back three days game. <laughs> That's how he happens. He wasn't near to a cross or anything. He just failed a hay bow <laughs> jump. And comes back resurrected. There's some yes, there it is a lot they could do. I still like the summer. Yeah, I know. I would love to see like Japan next for sure. Wait, I forgot the eagle fish in there. It's actually it's a cool down in this one. <laughs> Pommy. I would like to see for modern day Assassin's Creed. There's a full game set in modern day. Yeah, that would also. There is a lot they could do with this franchise. Still, once you follow the last one, we have not had any news about anything new they might be working on. But again, I'm not really the biggest fan of the franchise as a whole now. Obviously, I love I love the pre Odyssey, even a bit pre Origins. It would be like Hitman but better. I would make sense. Pretty much, Hitman is basically a modern day Assassin's Creed if you think about it. <laughs> Just without the hidden blades. <laughs> Except, I always found like Hitman controls clunky. I think McDesmond will return within the next four games, and I might show interest. So I'm the same. Well, I for me, it was. It's not exactly the Desmond stuff. It's more or less the gameplay elements they have. Literally, Desmond could be back in the new ones, but if it's anything like Odyssey, I would not have interest at all. So I'm not too sure. Where to find the thing? I think an armor could be made 
by going four into the animus and there being some kind of gish that lets him play the future character. So you would see a descendant instead of an ancestor. Ooh. That could be an very intriguing thing. A sat a future. <laughs> that is something they could do. Ooh. I low key want to see Star Wars lower lightsaber hidden blades. I think that would be sick. Like, come on. <laughs> the little lightsaber comes out of the flick of the wrist. Like, but, yes. Oh, there we go. Or make us play as Desmond no, since he is a sage. Wait, is Desmond the sage? Is that, cana is that canonically proven? Is that canon? So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question. His son ish. Alright. What the devil was that about? His son Welshed. <laughs> <laughs> we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! I suppose not. Easy, big fella. No, My, I think it would be cool to play as Future Descent. Oh. I think it would be cool to play the future sign and who actually get a handsome piece of Eden and actually causes the fall of mankind and they prevent prevent it but I can't. Ah! There's a lot of ideas booming in my head we could do. I do agree with you, Dry. I think Ubisoft should hire you, Dry. <laughs> Ubisoft hire Dry. He <laughs> liked a good story for you. <laughs> God damn it, that's my ass. Ow. But I definitely think they should do Japan next. Like, oh, come on, who doesn't want to be a goddamn samurai? Assassin. Be sick. Close. Yeah, I know how Paco Harko works. Actually, do I have There's a thing over here? But can I do anything with it? Is the question. Oh, there's a shop. Interact. Also, that's all I could get right now. Probably not until later I could get gear and stuff then. What I think somewhere would be Templars and Assassins would be ninjas in that regard. Either way, we need something set to Japan. I want to play this stuff for you, Stabby Boy. <laughs> I, I would definitely want to see something like that, Hunt. <laughs> Templars and Samurai ninjas. Mm. I mean, it's definitely. It would make sense, though. I, I think the time. Uh, the both of you just said the same thing. Yeah, no, exactly. I had no idea that Samurai and Ninjas were actually different. That's how much I know about Japanese law. I just want to know you. So, yeah, I just want to play as a, you know, a stuffy Japanese boy with a stabby blade blade. <laughs> but yes, definitely 110%. Do you think it should be set doing, you know, when, oh, what's his name, the Conqueror? Is it Kang the Conqueror? Would that be the name of the historical figure? My brain's on the blank. I could be wrong on that. 
But you think that would be a good area to go for? Basically, Samurai will allow you to hold Lord's Ninjas with farmers that fought against order. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, fair enough. Samurais are like the knights and ninjas are more assassins. Yeah, no. I see what you mean now, since the Templars are knights. Like, the Templar order are a knight order. And the assassins obviously are assassins. See, that's the only time this series was historically accurate. Because obviously the Templar and Assassin orders were disbanded post Altair's era in our or real life human history. But obviously in these games they keep on going for generations. <laughs> God damn love pineapple juice. I need to get some more tomorrow. Some more pineapple juice. Don't really need any additional kind of pop or squash. I'm good. Get some milk as well. Because I have no milk. Because I was away last week. I'll be away next week. This is only... I think this is literally the only week I'll be streaming this month. Because I was away last week. I'll be away next week. So last week I went to see my mate for her birthday. And then I saw the missus this weekend. And then next week I'll be away with my roommate and my best friend in Tembi. That's gonna be fun. Going to Tembi in the caravan for a week. <laughs> Pardon me. Alright. Play. But if we want to know if the temple order could exist somewhere in the world, if anything's possible since the failed temple place to save all the money that was left. Fair enough. I suppose I'll just pass the time with but in our recorded Don't history, <laughs> is at a private soiree in her honor. they were disbanded post Altius time. I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> mm. sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. <laughs> uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. <laughs> I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. Hmm. I'll just wait here then. Yeah. See, this whole... I, well, I mean, uh, to those who have played this game will know what happens in the story. The whole situation could be avoided if you just gave that note to that butler. Dude. Thing. So I could give this to thingy. Blah, blah, blah. Thing. Well, to be fair, uh, the French king wanted them dead and wanted their money killed. The grandmaster and then went to look for the money in the bank and it was all gone. <laughs> so, Templars could still exist. You'd see it the instant he returned. Yes, you probably would also interact. There we go. At least that's what I was told in history class ages ago. Fair enough. So yeah, I, I learned more about like Civil War and Henry, st you know, all the British like stuff, World Wars. Safe and sound. And only These fight. games actually taught me a lot more past British history. I didn't even know about the French Revolution too much really, uh, until this game. A sewer in these threads, much less a ball. <laughs> here, here, mon ami. Yeah, they Let could exist, but it wouldn't be knights in the traditional Let sense. They would be more like the Secret Service. Yeah, fair. <laughs> That's definitely a possible thing, or maybe even the top brass in the military. <laughs> Anything's possible. <laughs> Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Honor. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way. No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. <laughs> Express. Yeah, they could. Yeah, to be fair, it could be hidden in plain sight. 
I don't know. So, for we know, this has to be games could be very accurate in history. More than we know, ironically. I'll be, I'll be, hey, you'll be out of the B. No problem, dry. <laughs> oh. No invitation, no end. Bah. Monsieur Chrétien. Quite, yes, quite. Quite, yes. We, we, more sure. We, we, ho, ho, ho. That's the old sum. No loud. Really? I may have to refund you on your points because is it an alternate way? I have to park all up. But I have to, I may refund you on that, but I can't progress in the story. I have to refund you your points back, because I generally cannot continue on the story ever. Yeah. I'll just refund your points on that. Because <laughs> I generally cannot do it otherwise. I know, right? Uh, Mark, no. Um, reject and refund. Refund. There we go. Generally, I can't progress in the story ever, you see. That's the thing. I needed to park her up. Practically up in arms, and they're having a party. What's this party for, anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the Delacere girls. Whiskey biscuit. So I can't the point there, you had you have to wait for five minutes. Fair. Oh I like how lots of back up in <laughs> Think I stay up here. Dance handsome. Merci. Un autre jour. Another time. <laughs> She's like offended. Saying like, no. I my eyes on one woman and this is where it hit its last over here. Oh no, it's only sim for this last. 
he seems for no one else. <laughs> I'm actually, I need to have a look what actually happens in these two, in the story. Actually, what just happened? I forgot what happens to Lisa's character later on. I don't know what. I, she always did love so I think it's been a while since I did finish this. Well, that would be fun if I was feeling someone had the looks of Arnold saying no to a dance. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look, Arnold is a sexy ass man. Like, mm, fuck you. <laughs> you seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. <laughs> Are you wearing one of my father's suits? <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? You don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, step, bro? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I <laughs> technically. Dollars <laughs> dead. Well, you don't invite me to your parties. Everyone suffers. I try, but my father was adamant. Your father. <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. <laughs> You're kicking me out. He's Complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Selfly, navigate. No, you're not on party duty. You're in this room. Bum 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 bum. But yeah, no, they are basically. Well, it's just I just realized. I just realized Arnold and at least situations like Barry's and Iris's from the Flash, where the father takes. One in, because what happens to the parent, and they end up becoming a thing. <laughs> I am stealth. You cannot see me. I am stealthy, boy. Look how stealthy I am. Look how stealthy I am. Ooh, stealthy. Ooh, stealthy. <laughs> Look how stealthy I am. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Look how stealthy I am, guys. And then the least time I saw him again. <laughs> Never again. Face damage saved, suspicious. I was red. Yep, I know this game. <laughs> Pardon me. Will he come back on this way? I'm not too sure how I progress. It's not even open. Mm. And then these doors, like maybe that one further up to the right, because I didn't see early on. Yeah, that's open. Might jump in later on stream, kinda hungry, so I'm gonna end up home. <laughs> See you around, Fast Hunter. Enjoy your food, man. <sighs> I mean, he's looking that way constantly, so I'm just gonna. Who's even going to come out here? <laughs> Tell 
ten to one I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Bum bum bum. You're right, Monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. <laughs> Monsieur, Monsieur de la Serre, Monsieur de la Serre, Sibir, come away, guards, help, murder. Hmm. Oh. Well. Bon Dieu, he's killed Lord de la Serre. Continue. Yeah, this was the last game to have um, multiplayer, wasn't it? I think it's the only one most people still play for multiplayer in the Assassin's Creed franchise. But it doesn't have like the deathmatch multiplayer, it's like co op multiplayer, like stories you can play with friends. Like I, said, I got this one for Xbox. <laughs> Myself. Bom 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 bom. Family chat going off here. <laughs> well, thing is, Arnold didn't even get a chance to court did he? Just fall in there. I know. Just gets thrown in. She's going straight to sleep. <laughs> I mean, it's something like. <laughs> this is so good. You watch on you. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you come by this piss pot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back. Take it back. If you think you can. <laughs> All right. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well struck, piss bud. See if your defense is as good. All I've been doing is pivot parries. So much effort for a broken antique. 
Your broken antique here is flapping his idiot jaw. Say that again. I've nothing more to say, old man. Take the bastard down a peg. Come on, Anna. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, lovely. Give me what's mine and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings. These here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. <laughs> where, where? Come here, you little piss boy. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Hmm. Concentrate. And ego vision. Hmm. What are they? Messages from the past. I have myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? <laughs> Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. Of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Oh, what? <laughs> Bully for you. He died at Versailles. I mean, what? 76. 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life, fighting for the liberty of all mankind. If you stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. Hmm. Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Hmm? <laughs> <coughs> Two months later. Get at it, boy. Oh. We have a thicker stubble on you, you see. Again. <laughs> Just a bit of. Uh... Ow. Focus, piss bar. What the hell is going on out there? Citizens are restless. Keep an ear open. Opportunity might just come knocking soon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's push him our way. Was cannon fire. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Mm -hmm. Follow my lead. And to cover. We haven't got all day. Prisoners up against the wall. On oh, whose authority? I told you this was going to end badly. Silence. Mm. Stay back. Hold him, B. What's going on? Okay. I'm running like I'm meaning it. Keep him off me for a bit, piss pot. One of them stabs me. Keep him inside. He won't escape. Now you've broken the law. Oh, hey, long time no assy. Hey, what came in? What's the car? I love that funny coming in. How you doing, dude? Yeah, it's been a few days, hasn't it? Especially, well, it looks like I've been away all week. Last week. I'll be all away next week. <laughs> As well. Let's 
It's good. I'm doing brilliant. I'm doing absolutely amazing, my friend. Don't get to see ya. Oh, let's go, bitch. Smoke bomb evasions. Is that smoke bomb? Serve him tea before I give him a cuppa. I know I can kill you. So I got our false sink. Pull me. Hmm. See, this one brings back a lot of familiar damage from the South Korea games again. Oh, feed me in the drink, do I? And a dab of I using all your points up. Shish got dab. It feeds me. And the stretch. Stretch. You want? But you quite a bit to do there yeah, for my friends. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Start coming up. Oh, dang! Notification, notification today. <laughs> yeah, I think I've done my stretch, done my drink, done my feed me, done my dab. I'm doing my feed me now. This way. <laughs> Fire! Fire, damn you! Stop the prisoners! No way to run prisoners! Open your cell! Here we go, lovely. I take. There we go, loot. Where now? Oh, brilliant. And how do we get down again? Trust me. Trust him. He knows the way. Me and all you are playing, so I decided to drop in because I wasn't there. Not fair enough. Why are you all um, playing at the moment then? Bit of Fortnite, something else maybe. What are you waiting for, I'm checking Fortnite this season. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long too. time ago. Now get up there! I can't. That's impossible. Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy. Pluck your head out of your own arse. Come find us. You make a great fit. Goodbye, piss pot. <laughs> you back away from the ledge. Oh, what? Well. Oh. <laughs> And I'm for some Fortnite then is a new to update. Oh hell yeah. I've not checked out Fortnite this season myself. Also looks like I have to relaunch the game. Stop. Confirm. <coughs> Don't know why but Arnold has stopped working. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna just stand here like pretty. He's like no Arnold. You're pretty, but you gotta jump down. <laughs> but Yeah, I need to have a look at Fortnite this season because I've not played it since March. Remember the last season finished up? Because all the Spider-Man shit was on it. There's no reason why I, like, I played the entire season because I don't really play entire seasons anymore. Like, I normally don't buy battle passes and play entire seasons. 
I'm done so on the edges. I come on every once in a while, that's about there. <clears throat> so I remember playing Fortnite years ago before the Battle Royale was a thing and then Battle Royale became a thing. I remember all the default skins, there's just default skins everywhere. And then they implemented season pass a few months after and stuff. It's interesting now it changed over the years. So I just, I've seen a change and updated on the map change and the game change and all this stuff. It's cool. It's pretty good. Where now? Up! Oh, brilliant! And how do we get down again? Mm -hmm. Trust me! Hmm. Okay, well, I'll let you be. Can I skip this? I can. There we go. This is where Lucian started. You'd be so percent. <laughs> Jack updates and stuff. Okay, but I really do need to have a look into Fortnite again. Maybe so. There's been a lot of Doctor Strange stuff and the Star Wars stuff. I did and stuff, and the textures aren't loading properly. Oh well. Please. Uh, Pummy, hey. That's some welcome. One can't be too careful. But after what happened. Elise, I... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Mm. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was on earth. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin. Me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? Mm. My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that... A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Hey, welcome back, Try. <laughs> Grandmaster de la Serre. Fair enough. <laughs> that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. <laughs> oh. I found that on the floor of my father's room. I know him. Ah. Uh. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? <laughs> Just go. Please.
<laughs> I'm only craving a mince pie. I don't know why. I just want a mince pie. <laughs> I, just, I might pick well tomorrow. I do I might pick up some cakes or something. My current one sucks. I think again PC case. Oh yeah. I got a new I. My current one is pretty good. The one I had before this one was a very cheap one. This one is also cheap, but it's not as cheap as that one. It's a factory design case, it is. Love it. It's one of those rare cases that actually has a DVD drive because my PC has a DVD drive. Because I still have. You know, sometimes I do like to pull. We have a collection of disc games in this house for PC, so. <laughs> it's very good to have a DVD drive on it. <laughs> I can't want it, but the airflow is absolute shit, really. Fair, my one is. Well, there's two fans at the front, the one at the back. Like most PC cases do, typically. Not if I didn't have a DVD drive, I'd probably have three fans at the front. But the airflow of mine was pretty good. It also has, like, holes on the top and bottom as well. There's no fans. I think you can put fans and stuff like that, and, or radiators and stuff like that if you wanted to. But it just has, like, plenty of airflow on my one. The. Plank is, I've not heard of that company. Cause I know Fractal Design, which is one I got. I know Corsia. You know, Corsia Vengeance, I believe, is. No, that's RAM. Thanks, Brain. I don't know why my brain's thinking of RAM. See, at some point. Hmm. Where's the guy? Okay, no mind him. Hi guys. Don't pester me, maggot. If I get my hands on you, I'll rip your bloody eyes you out. Don't you, me, <laughs> you obviously don't give a toss about living, no, which is good. Because I don't give a toss about killing you. <laughs> <laughs> And so the red ones are lock pick ones, okay. I don't think I've heard of that case myself. I do want to have a look at this for a minute. So I love talking tech. Okay, okay, it's opened. Oh, that is actually very nice design. And yeah. Like I said, my one has, yeah, it's, it's like a fence on the top, which I ha I do have fence on the top of my one as well, like that. And now on the bottom as well. It's a very nice case, yeah. I just, four USB ports to the front. Obviously got your basic. It's a USB-C. Power, volume, I'm guessing, all stuff. All the basic stuff you need to, on the case. 189 is a lot, though. I think my one costs... The first one I, ha I ever had was less than 20 quid. And the one I have now, I'm not too sure how much it was. If you type in next mission set, that shows all the parts I'm using, anyway. So now my use of factory all designs like a red one. Did that come with other... Colors without the lock pixel. I can't even. Okay, never mind. I couldn't even access that chest. Hey, Toad's up. I go into there, my dude. Just on my break right now. Ah, fair enough. She's just chilling out, enjoying your break. Just chill with me for a bit, is it? Fair enough. <laughs> Just chilling out. This is the one I got now. Oh yeah, I, NCXT. Yeah, I know. If, I know NCXT. It does look. It does look pretty, but man, does it suck. 
me have a look what we got here. Yeah, really sex does it. It looks like it uh, doesn't have too much. It, uh. Well, at least you have a lot of like expansion room in the new one. It does look smaller than my one because my one is bigger than that case. I think so. I think that case is a little small. So I see what I mean by airflow issues you possibly could have. Because I just look a little shorter. So I see what you mean and what you're going for. <laughs> it's so standard size. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, it's a standard one. I think my one's a 80 or 80. Is it 80x? <laughs> yeah, it's like. My one is quite. I never realized how big my case was. Like, my old one was much smaller, my old PC case. It was very small and compact. Now, this one has a lot more airflow in it. Plus, it's, you know, it fits free fans, GPUs. I think my old one sort of fit free fan GPUs, but not as easy. I think this one is taller than my old one. So, there's a lot more airflow. There's a lot more space in between the GPU and stuff. This one's oh, so we've got all eight ATX ones. But my one, I think my one's taller than your one. Yeah, I think so. Oh no, it's because your one has the thing on the bottom. My one's fully opened on the inside. Your one has like the thing, the the shroud cover. I think maybe that's why. Hmm. Either way, the one I want is ETX. Oh, right. my opinion, I'd rather use water because they're more reliable and equal. Because if your room is hot with echo, and you struggle more. Fair enough. I my one's always. I never had a water cool PC. <laughs> Myself personally. Maybe well, the next thing I want to upgrade on my PC is a GPU. And then maybe some point in the future, if I do feel like I want to upgrade it, maybe I'll get the water cooling in time. So like I've always, you know, uh, mine was air cooled. Uh, my one is. Um. Go on, these classic puzzles. You guys yet that turned a fish sack? Oh yeah, no, I seen it. Someone just straight up puts a PC into a f into a fish tank and just chucks like non-contactive liquid on top of it. Think that's what they do? Yeah. What eject? This medallion oh. must play into it somehow. Oh my god, oh no. I would do well cool, but in case I have one fit. My one... Yeah, my one can fit the radiator. I think, on the top. I think I did get a case, it's very upgradable. Hmm. So the next one I'm gonna upgrade personally for me is a graphics card. And then maybe I'll do water cool in the future. <laughs> there we go. At one point, I was thinking of making my own PC case. That's fair. 
If you want to try that out, that would be actually really cool. I'm being choices on all our stuff. Some of my on woods would be dot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That would actually would be really sick. I mean, if you definitely, I would definitely like if I had the materials off. and tools and stuff like I would definitely would do my own case. I seen I seen lots of sick things people do with PCs and stuff. Custom builds and stuff like that. Really? Seems visibility would be a problem. Wouldn't you prefer something with a view? This place has served us well for six hundred years, Pisspot. Mm-hmm. And how long were you standing in the dark waiting for me? Not long. Guillaume spotted you from the bell tower. <laughs> Actually, would be very good because it's a non conductive day. Yeah, it would be as well, wouldn't it? No, no. God's truth, very theatrical. Shut <laughs> We're here. The candidate will approach. So, the son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come, but changed your mind. I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. <laughs> the death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. Are that sounds like a plan, Troy. The eagle's path. <laughs> if that's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? Yes. Then drink. <laughs> Do some drugs, eh? Get trippy. There we go. I'm tripping balls. Big old testy balls. Hello, hola. Oh, I still want to sleep a type build, something that looks. Oh, I see. Yeah, see, the sleeper builds are really awesome, actually. But sometimes not. You know, depends on the case. It's not best for airflow entirely. So you really have to like proper hack and slash a case to get like decent airflow and all the pieces in and blah blah blah. So like if you're, uh, I would say if you are willing to put in all the work and stuff like that, yeah, go for super build as well. You really have to like work hard, hacking a pot or something like that. the comb bones everywhere. Yeah, the thing you see, Shay's the one who killed, you know, his father.
The thing is, we never see Shay in this game. Maybe we do need DLCs like that. I have all the DLCs for this game, so I'm intrigued to see that stuff. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Very important eye. I found that in the floor of my <clears throat> father's study. An opening. I didn't know. Neither did my father. Neither did Papa. Pardon me. You seem to be able to fight a What can I say? You were in the woods. Chipping balls and shit like this. Oh, <laughs> family chat, boys chat going off. <coughs> Desynchronized. Oh, right. I see what I need to do. And he come back and stab in the boat. In the boot. Hey! In the boot. Hey! Kill assassin will be detected. Yeah. That's Arnold's face. Yeah, it's meant to be like a sort of Star Wars moment there. <laughs> like with Darth Vader and Luke, and now Luke sees himself and Darth Vader in that tunnel in Empire Strikes Back. What's <laughs> up, guys? <laughs> These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart, heart of, of our creed. Stay your blade, blade from, from the flesh of the innocents, innocence. and then play in sight. Never, never compromise their brotherhood. Let never these tenets be branded done. upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Why is this Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, and his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mammy complete. <laughs> Uh, sounds like you got a good few interest and options there, Joy. A lot of good ideas to do with a case. <laughs> I think it's can't even buy like a new classic case. Don't know. <laughs> so all cases nowadays mostly all white. I remember like I remember what going up on like like a big old white. Big old PC thing in schools and Welcome stuff. Back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? A new classic case. Maybe if you custom made it fair. 
information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Young Blood's the album. It's a new album. I'm definitely going to get it on vinyl. Good choice. If you have on vinyl. We need to sell the weird album on vinyl. That was released not too long ago. I think Young Blood's got a few vinyls, which I do need to buy. Abstergo Industries. So I'm gonna add to my watch later playlist. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished. That's something I need to get tomorrow. Double helix. Today, we mm -hmm. know the double helix to be indisputably mm -hmm. the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? Mm. It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA. Precursor. The of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the mm. splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Yeah. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel triple, triple helix, helix mm. sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. <laughs> Phoenix project. So, this is where we stand. <laughs> Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient yeah. DNA. It's a mouth okay. shock. have to search for more sages okay. in the present and in the past. The yeah. more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final Great, goal. Bitch. Okay, we bitch, bitch, bitch. To find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why yeah. Arnold Dorian? Why chase the assassin to the French like... Revolution? It turns out, at some uh, point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, yeah. it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Loading the next sequence. Um, I don't think it works out well for A flow. I don't think because the A. Because you have A pulls A in, cool it in, and it goes, keeps the clones cold and it goes out the back. While open it is just I sitting there. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data will have to increase your synchronization. I don't think it works as well for cooling. And to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this. <laughs> cool. Forgot this one has an upgrade menu. <laughs> Do I want that? Can't actually buy anything. 
locksmith skill, yes. Just get that one for now. So you're gonna get more stuff along the way. Okay, I can't upgrade everything else now. One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Faye. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies. So they'll give you an idea of what... Oh, so you have a water-cooled PC, Just then I think open air PC case would be fine. I marked <laughs> them on your map. Must have to arrange weapon skill. Okay. I'm just gonna run a quick BRB screen so I do really need a Wii. So be right back if everybody joins these clips on your toilet. Okie dokie. That was one who, huh? Right, so we got a gun. Oh, right, yeah, and these are things we got later on, I think. Play Assassin's Creed, yeah. <laughs> that was not even that good. So I do have a few just weapons. Already, just because uh, of the LRP. That was also pretty good. Probably would get that one though when I can. Equipment, colors. Might be the run a go wave. Ah, right, yeah, I know how this works, so. I mean, it's me, of course, and go for the red one. Ooh. I mean, it's a perfect cosmetic. So oh, no, they're not. These actually do work in the stealth. So they do work as. Oh, colors. Colors purely all cosmetic, okay. Cool. Oh, see, that would give me more health. Uh, 
health stuff. Forearms. The ones with the logo thing. Waste. Let's equip the ones that are somewhat helpful in any way, shape, or form. Legs. I think it's anything unlocked on legs by chance. Outfits. Oh, just straight outfits. Oh no. McFallen. Outfit of the master. Does say Todd McFarlane. Of course, Todd McFarlane. Call off Todd McFarlane. <laughs> He designs a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's not why I can't look like. I think the red's too bright. As much as I love bright red. That looks like Welsh colours there, red, green, white. <laughs> looks nice. I'll leave a red. Actually. Guess not only work in multiplayer situations, alright? Eh? Well, now change my cat out the bit and whatnot. <laughs> Don't know if anything is, I do want to upgrade over time. What do you get from that? Hundred. Oh, right, nice. Makes you got like a money count and stuff now. <laughs> and B. That's one thing I do love is to see this hold B and this auto drops you down. Makes it easier for you know. Parkour in about long balance area. There's no really reason for it though. It's not a restricted area, so. Maguchi. Probably about to turn into a restricted area when I get up to play, yeah. It's pain on my left ear, ow. Play. <laughs> What's the mission? The mission? Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, Piss Pop. Aye. I live to serve. <laughs> BRB again, ain't a no problem, Joy. Mr. Difficulty is by diamonds. Yep. And so do I. So he said I know the rules and that I just, like I had to. Okay, looks like I'm not getting cover kills on. Huh? Unless there's more enemies to kill later. In this section. Here we go. Simple enough. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. <coughs> An act of desperation. What about the priest? 
He'll come around. <laughs> <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Seabear. My boys will have the weapon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. <laughs> of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. Whenever I... <laughs> These bastards always have bodyguards. Well, <laughs> next time do that before he starts screaming. <laughs> Why do we hang about here when Sivert still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre. Yeah. Oh, Not today. Not today. Council's waiting for our report. <laughs> Smoke bomb, yeah. Get him, smoke bomb. Keep up with Balak. Aye. You know, the hardest thing to do, keep up with him. <laughs> Go sippy sleeps. Oh, yeah, I can't use hidden blades in general combat now, can I? Like where the fuck are we going? There we go. Oh no. There we go. I'll still be running when you're dead. Uh-huh. Yeet. Big ass yeet. Need a break? No. No, we do not. We seem to be Gucci. I'll still be running when you're dead. <laughs> Need a break. <laughs> so easy to keep up with you, like Balak. Need a break. Yes, I know. We've heard it plenty of times. Shush. So, need a break, need a break. So, yes, dude, we know. Need a break. <laughs> Just trying not to strain your heart. Hmm. 
think this mission just generally shows you like sound activities. I can't believe this. We've not seen C there for a year, and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. Paper. No. That's the way of the creed. That's how they work. So yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah. Shop. Shops cool. <laughs> so what happens next? 